Our President Joe Biden calls on U.S. lawmakers to approve spending billions of dollars to help Israel and Ukraine. It is part of a supplemental funding proposal. The White House says the money will support Israel's defense against terrorism and defend Ukraine against Russian aggression. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, the supplemental request includes $61 billion for Ukraine, $14 billion for Israel, $9 billion for humanitarian assistance. And last night, President Joe Biden, in a speech from the Oval Office, told the nation, quote, making sure Israel and Ukraine succeed is vital for America's national security. With war raging in multiple parts of the globe, Israel fighting Hamas terrorists, and Ukraine battling back against Russia's invasion, President Joe Biden tells the nation, You know, history has taught us that when terrorists don't pay a price for their terror, when dictators don't pay a price for their aggression, they cause more chaos and death and more destruction. They keep going. And the cost and the threats to America and the world keep rising. And today, the White House Office of Management and Budget writes in a letter to the House of Representatives, this supplemental request invests over $50 billion in the American defense industrial base, ensuring our military continues to be the most ready, capable, and best equipped fighting force the world has ever seen. Also today, the president welcomes to the White House European Council President Charles Michel and European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen. Madam President, Mr. President, uh, it's great to see you both again. President Biden trying to assure EU leaders the U.S. will come through with wartime aid for Ukraine and Israel, despite the current upheaval in Congress. The president also said he got a commitment from Israel and Egypt that a crossing will soon be open to allow aid into Gaza. The highway had to be repaved because of it's very bad, very bad shape. And I believe that within the next 24 to 48 hours, the first 20 trucks will come across with it. Meanwhile, GOP presidential candidate Nikki Haley blames the world's current troubles on the current occupant of the Oval Office, posting on X. The shame of it all is that we wouldn't be in this terrible position if Joe Biden hadn't been so weak in Afghanistan, so slow in Ukraine, so pandering to Iran, and so absent from the border. The world is on fire, and America needs strong new leadership to deal with it. Add it all up, and the White House is asking for $105 billion in supplemental funding. Also included in that total, additional Border Patrol agents and asylum officers on the U.S. southern border, countering fentanyl, as well as money for Indo-Pacific security. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.